Book three, chapter six, garnering of hard times is called The Starlight. On Sunday, as planned, Sissy and Rachel go to the countryside to look for any sign of Stephen. Near the edge of a disused coal pit known as the Old Hell Shaft, they find a hat with his name written on the brim. Stephen has fallen into the pit! So the two women disperse to find help. Sissy finds two men who help gather more assistance and send a message to Louisa. The rescuers set up a rope and pulley into the shaft. After many hours, and with the help of a surgeon, they determine how to bring Stephen's battered, broken body safely to the surface. Stephen is happy to see Rachel and calls his fall into the pit a muddle. Active pits are a hazard to miners who use them. Disused pits are a hazard to travelers who encounter them. He tells her he believes Tom set him up for the robbery. He also talks about watching the stars while he lay in the pit and about his belief that he saw the same star that guided pilgrims to Jesus' birthplace. In the end, he's content to walk, even though he's carried, one last time with Rachel. Stephen's run of bad luck ends with the worst luck of them all. He has fallen into a mining pit by accident and fatally injured himself. The events of his life, including its end, confirm his belief that everything is a muddle. He falls into the pit because he's too poor to afford transportation back to Coketown to face false charges of bank robbery concocted by an upper-class entitled young man trying to cover his gambling debts. Stephen's association of the stars he sees from the pit with the stars that appear in the Bible and guide the wise men to Jesus Christ's birthplace contrast with the name of the pit itself, the old hell pit. Symbolically, Stephen has spent much of his life in a kind of hell, including this pit where he almost dies. In the end, Stephen does die of his injuries, but he is able to die holding the hand of the woman he loves, and he's able to declare his innocence of the crime of which he has been accused. His suffering and the circumstances of his fall provide good evidence of his innocence to the crowd who has assumed his guilt because he disappeared.